Well, I've gone and done it. I bought my first pistol and read it online. Actually, I bought two of every pistol. And in this video, we're going to go over my thoughts on all of them, which one I think is the best, and which one is not so great. Howdy Cowpoke, Austin BMX here, and thanks for checking out today's video. We stayed in the intro, we're going to be going over the pistols in the game and which ones we think personally are better than the rest. Yeah. So, if you guys are aware or watched the channel for a while, you know that I don't have or didn't have any pistols in the game at all. And a daily challenge would come up where I'd have to do a pistol kill. I just couldn't do one because I, I didn't own any. Why? A few things in there. I, I really like the look of an actual revolver. You know, it is a Wild West type game. Just didn't really like the look of the pistols at all, but I thought I'd give them a chance. So in this video, we went around and I bought all the pistols, actually two of each, and maxed them out with all their accessories and their upgrades. I spent $3,000 buying two volcanic pistols, two Mausers, two semi-automatic pistols, give them the run around and ranking them up on my own personal little ranking system here. And uh, I'm gonna let you guys know what I thought, what are good and what are bad. Now, of course, this is, this is my opinion, so it could be a completely different from yours. Maybe it'll give you a little bit of insight on what you should buy and what you might like. Of course, I always state, use the guns that you like to use in the game that work good for your playstyle. These None of these might be it, or they, you might have something different. So if you do, make sure to let me know down in the comments what you guys think of my ranking system, or what you guys are personally liking with these pistols, or if you like something else. And of course, if you're going to like this video, make sure to smash the like button if you're new around here. Hit that subscribe button. If you haven't already, check out the link down in the description. Join our Discord for some great feedback, conversation, and getting to know each other a little better. So I figured I'd buy all these pistols and give them a shot because uh, I've been killed by pistols quite a lot. And I thought, hey, what's what's the big deal? What, why are these so good? Well, a couple of them are pretty crazy, actually. I've always used the Schofield revolvers because they were, the, I thought, the best revolver until the Navy came out. And I've always used two navies, and they're actually fantastic. And the ones I use the most just because of they fire pretty well and they have a pretty good damage and pretty good accuracy as well and they sound pretty awesome too my build in the game for my abilities is geared towards dual wielding so keep that in mind with all my rankings on here uh, if you guys don't have your build that way you might not get the same exact results as I did with these pistols but you can always change your stuff around and speaking of that I wish Rockstar would actually give us the ability to have quick changeable abilities you know like build one, build two, but that's for a different video there. Let's get right into the rankings of these pistols. So for these rankings, I gave a point for each round that the pistol can hold in its chamber. I also gave a ranking for speed, reload, and damage, and then we got a total. We'll start with the lowest one I have here. It's the Volcanic Pistol. The Volcanic Pistol can hold eight rounds, so if you do wield that, that is 16 rounds of firepower. Uh, the speed of the Volcanic Pistol is really slow. I gave it a ranking of 4. 4 is pretty bad. I think it's slower than the Navy Revolvers, which actually are quite slow as well. Reload is also really bad on the Volcanic Pistol. It is, I gave it a 4 as well there. Not too great. Damage though, out of all the pistols, it is the best damage pistol. And actually I think it's at about the same range as the Navy Revolver, so I gave that an 8. Eight's pretty good. Eight damage on the mechanic pistol because it does hit pretty hard. So if we total up all those points, it comes out to a 24. Not too bad, not too good. 24 for the mechanic pistol. My first thoughts the mechanic pistol, it is great. It's about the same as the Navy Revolver. Uh, hits pretty hard, but once you're out of those rounds, it's gonna take you quite a while to reload those. And if you got lots of enemies on you and all you're looking for is to get some pistol kills, you're gonna be taking a quite a while at reloading those. It still does take only about two shots to kill somebody unless they got some crazy build going on. So speed and reload is kind of low on the totem pole there because the damage is kind of high, but I, I, I love to reload my guns fairly well. So the Volcanic Pistol is my lowest ones in this rank at a 24 for the Volcanic. I, I probably won't be using these very much. Moving into some pretty faster firing pistols, the next one I have for number two here is a semi-automatic. 
and it was pretty close to the Mauser, and we'll go over why. The semi-automatic does hold eight rounds as well, just like the volcanic pistol. So with two of them in your hands, you got 16 bullets of firepower. Uh, the speed on the semi-automatic pistols is extremely crazy. I mean, you, you unload those 16 rounds in like two or three seconds. So the speed I have on this is an eight. It is dang fast. Reload time is crazy, man. You literally like just touch your guns and they're reloaded. So we gave this thing a ranking of 10 for the reload speed. It doesn't even look like you actually reload. The animation is so fast, it's crazy. You can immediately unload 16 rounds and immediately have 16 more in your chambers to go again. Damage, though, on the semi-automatic pistols is about the same as a varmint rifle, right? It does do barely any damage, so I gave it a 4, but you can unload 16 rounds of ammo into an enemy so fast that that damage kind of isn't too bad. Adding these all together, though, it does give the semi-automatic a total ranking of 30 on my little ranking system here. 8 rounds, 8 speed, 10 reload, 4 damage does give it a 30. So it is a lot better than the Volcanic Pistol. Uh, other than that, though, it is kind of low damage. So if you got to do something pretty quick, it might work. But it does take 4 or 5 plus shots to get that kill. But it is pretty quick. Semi-automatic Pistol... Ranking of 30. So of course then, process eliminations. You can see that the Mausers were my favorite when I went through all these. Uh, the, the biggest upsale in the Mausers is its magazine. It can hold 10 rounds per gun. So if you're dual wielding these, like in uh, all my challenges here I did, you can hold 20 bullets. Not too bad. 20 is quite a lot. Its speed is a little bit slower than the semi-automatic, but I mean, just a hair. So we gave it a seven. 7 speed on the Mausers, it still unloads those 10 those ten rounds per gun, 20 rounds total, pretty dang quick when you're dual wielding those. It is extremely crazy watching it. The reload speed is a little bit slower than the Semi, but still way faster than any other gun in the game, because it's pretty much just a magazine you slap into the gun, so we gave that an 8. And the damage is a bit more than the Semi, but not quite as much as the Volcanic, so we kind of split the difference there and gave it a 6. 10 rounds per gun. 7 speed, 8 reload, 6 damage brings it to a 31. Just a tad higher than the semi. So we were using those quite a lot and seeing how well they do. It is pretty crazy how fast you can take down an enemy with these. I mean, it does take about 3 shots on average for an NPC. We did quite a lot of bootlegger missions and whatnot and they were pretty quick. Um, the biggest thing is I'm used to the Navy Revolver, so I take out someone with two shots, take out another player with two shots, and then I have to reload, which means you got to run around or hide behind cover and reload those navies, or we tried the Volcanic, reload those like crazy. The Mausers, you pretty much can shoot a whole bunch of people, run around a corner, and be re reloaded immediately because of the reload speed. So that's one big upsell we had on the Mausers. It's pretty crazy. Now we did do some tests, and of course, all of these, Volcanic, Mauser, and Semi, are a one-shot to the head from close range if you're a good shot, unless you're built like a tank. Um, the Mausers and the Semi, actually, you, you, you could build your character to, to absorb those into the head like crazy, we found out. I'm not sure what the build was on our friend here, but, man, he could definitely take some shots to the face, that's for sure. If you don't, though, they still are a one-shot to the head, so... Their damage, even the semi with a four damage on our raking system, still is a good shot if you're if you're a clean shot to the face. Um, but if you're just looking for a quick shoot like crazy, massive amount of ammo into that enemy, uh, even from the hip, you definitely can still take him down pretty quick. Uh, if the other player is pretty good, they probably could shoot you in the face, you know, because anybody could shoot you in the face and you're dead. But the Mauser and the semi are fantastic for unloading pretty quick. The Volcanic still was kind of slow, even just shooting someone in the in the gut, just because of its, of its speed. The Volcanic pistol shoots so slow that if you're not getting that headshot, you're probably going to die. Although the Mauser and the Semi, both of them, if you're unloading into that person, they probably are getting nailed quite a lot and unable to get a shot out on you. So still, even if you're not getting those headshots, you still probably can get that 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 kill. So we did have lots of fun ranking these up because uh, they are, we're all new to us. Uh, as you can see, Volcanic Pistol number three, Semi-Automatic Pistol number two, and our favorite to use during all this testing was the Mauser. I'll probably use them quite a lot more. You might, you might see them on stream. I'll, ha I'll have them out. We'll see if we can get some shots done. I wish, one thing though, because of the speed of the guns, I wish they would paint targets 
just as fast as their their speed as well. That would be a lot better because they still you still paint fairly slow, which isn't great. I wish I could paint just as fast as the speed of this gun and then unload with that painted black ability as well. Would make them a lot better. We'll definitely do some more testing. Let me know down in your comments what you guys think of all three of the pistols if you own them. Let me know if you agree with my rankings on those or if you completely disagree, that's totally fine as well. Love to see what you guys think down in the comments. Well, Calpoke, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little rundown of all the pistols. I did spend $3,000 to make this video. Not sure if it's worth it. Well, of course it was. It was a lot of fun. And now I have all the pistols so I can do some daily challenges. If you like this video, if it helped you out, make sure to smash that like button. If you're new around here, consider subscribing to the channel for more Red Dead Online content, including tips and tricks, news updates, gameplay, just good old-fashioned fun. Hope to see you on the prairie sometime. But until then, see you later.